In this video, I'll cover how to display terrain contours as an absolute elevation or as a sea level elevation. In this sample, the contours are displayed as an absolute elevation. At the top of the terrain perimeter is a elevation line set at zero feet. At the bottom of the terrain perimeter is a contour elevation line set at minus 36 feet. The negative numbers are being displayed. They're also highlighted in red. To turn off the red highlight, double click on your terrain perimeter. On the contours panel is an option to highlight negative numbers. By deselecting that, you can then turn off the red display by removing that check mark for the highlight. To change this to be sea level terrain, I'm going to select all of the elevation lines and I'm going to raise them the amount of the sea level. In this case, my sea level is at 2300 feet. I am using the terrain toolbar configuration that changes my toolbar for the terrain based tools. Now, I'm going to use the terrain line tool. I'm going to hold my shift key down and then I'm going to left click and drag around all of the elevation lines. This is a very simple plan. I only have two. If I had many, this would be an easy way to select all of those. Using the transform replicate tool in my lower menu, I'm going to come up under the move panel for the Z value. I'm going to come in and I'm going to say plus 2300 feet. Let me press the spacebar to deselect this before I rebuild the terrain to show the sea level information. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Based on the shape of my terrain, you can see that it's a little bit wider at the bottom than it is at the top. And I'll just toggle on my crosshair so you can see this. My elevation line is slightly shorter than the overall length of the bottom of the terrain perimeter. There may be times if you've already built your terrain as an absolute terrain, it may hold on to some of the values and you may need to extend this line at the top to be at least as wide as the entire terrain perimeter. Let's take a look by rebuilding the terrain and you can see that exactly what I just brought up is in fact the case. To resolve this, I'm going to grab the line. I'm going to make sure that it's at least as long as the bottom of the terrain, and then I'm going to go back and rebuild it. In this case, since that line now exceeds the overall width of the bottom of the terrain, it's resolved the problem. And as I zoom in a little bit, you can see that the terrain contours are now showing with a sea level number. That wraps up this video on terrain contours for absolute and sea level elevations. To learn more, see the built-in help file and our other videos. Thanks for watching.